my story time friends it's Claire here with baby story time with my friend fluffy bird who'll be my demo baby for us today hope you're all doing okay out there and I'm so glad to see you and pretend hear you pretend see you and know that we're here together for story time thanks for joining us are you ready for our hello song okay you got to put your hands up Get your fingers a wiggling and a waggling. Get ready to wave to all of our friends. We wave hello like this. We wave hello like this. With all our friends at story time, we wave hello like this. What comes next? We clap hello like this. We clap hello like this. With all our friends at story time, we clap hello like this. Yay, nice job friends, Woohoo! Okay, let's get our hands warmed up. Sometimes it feels really good to just rub your hands together, create some warmth or rub baby's hands together if that feels good to them, if they want that to happen to them. Um, Grown-ups make their hands warm. Let's get warmed up for story time. Okay, let's do open, shut them next. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. Put them behind your back, never let them in. Nice job, friends. Are you ready for our first book? Okay, it's a good one, and it's pretty new too. And it's a book about mindfulness, which is always good to keep in mind for grown-ups with babies and babies too. It's called Puppy in My Head, a book about mindfulness, and it's by Elise Gravel. She has done a lot of fun books. She has books about snails, and spiders and all different kind of creepy crawly creatures that are really cool and I think I read a book of hers either last story time or story time before that um another yoga mindfulness book too but I really like her illustrations so here's a puppy in my head there is a puppy in my head where's your head can you pat your brain say thanks brain his name is Ollie. Arf. Most of the time, Ollie is quiet. He sits or sleeps. He's a good puppy. Zzz, sleeping noises. Ollie is very curious. He wants to explore everything, smell everything, and say hello to everybody and go everywhere. That's how puppies learn. That also sounds a lot like how babies learn. Often by tasting things. Everything in the mouth. That's how you figure out your world, babies. Yeah. Sometimes Ollie is all over the place. He gets excited. Yep, yep, yep. Then I get excited too. When he's happy excited, it's fun. I feel like jumping around or dancing. That's a good kind of excited, like excited for story time kind of excited. But it's not fun when Ollie is too excited. That's when he runs around in my head and makes too much noise. Oh, bark, 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 bark. He can't calm down. And I can't calm down either. Ollie, stop it. Sometimes he gets scared. He tries to warn me that there is danger, but most of the time the danger is not real. Oof, 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 bark, brr, bark. But then I get scared too. Eek, what is it, Ollie? Is there something we should be afraid of? If I listened to him every time he got scared, I'd be scared a lot. I try to help him. Stop, Ollie, sit down. Oh, but it doesn't always work. He needs help to calm down. It's not easy for a puppy. Not 
easy for a human either, huh? If he gets too excited, scared, or upset, he can't listen to me, and his feelings control him. Yip, yap, 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 roar. When that happens, I take out my magical leash. It's not a leash that you can see. It's invisible. The leash is my breath. Ollie's like, what? I sit down and take a deep breath. Long, slow, and gentle. And then I breathe out very slowly. The sound of my breath calms Ollie. He comes closer. I breathe in and out a few more times, as many times as it takes, but always slowly. Ollie follows my breath and comes to sit right next to me. We cuddle. It's okay, Ollie. He's asleep now, see? He just needed some help. We're both feeling better now. There are other ways I can help Ollie. When he gets too excited, he needs to use up his energy. I take him for a walk or a run or chase the ball. Sometimes Ollie just needs to talk and I listen and try to understand what he's telling me. What's bothering you, Ollie? And then I can talk to someone too. Ollie's upset because I had a fight with my friend. Mostly what Ollie needs is for me to sit, pay attention and spend more time with him. I'm here for you, buddy. I love Ollie. He's such a good puppy. He's my best friend. Everybody has a puppy in their head, even grown-ups. It's true. Do you have one? What is your puppy's name? Hmm, something to think about. And that's puppy in my head. Can we take another big deep breath together? I'll put um, Fluffy Bird on my stomach so we can co-regulate and he can feel my breathing. So that, that can be good for babies too, like we've done before, to um, calm yourself and baby. So let's take a deep breath in. And out. Let's do it one more time. In and out. And maybe let's do it with our arms. When we go in, let's spread out. And when we let it out, go in. Ready? Like the ocean. Good job. Okay. Our next book is a singing book. So I need help. We've done it before. We do a lot of variations and remixes of the wheels on the bus. And this was one of my favorites recently that I did a few weeks ago, I think, in story time. But it was so good, I think we should do it again. And repetition is good for babies. It's called The Whales on the Bus. And it's by Katrina Chairman and illustrated by Nick Sherratt. Here we go. Ready? The wheels on the bus ride round the town. Round. I already messed up. It's not the wheels on the bus. Oh my goodness. It's the whales. Let's start again. Whoop. The whales on the bus ride round the town. Round the town. Round the town. The whales on the bus ride around the town. All day long. They're on a double decker bus. We must be in London. Ooh, the cranes on the train cry choo choo choo, choo choo choo, choo choo choo. The cranes on the train cry choo 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 all day long. Let's see. Ooh, the bees. The bees on their skis go zoom zoom zoom, zoom zoom zoom, zoom zoom zoom. The bees on their skis go zoom 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 all day long. The sheep in the jeep race through the mud, through the mud, through the mud. The sheep in the jeep race through the mud all day long. That sounds like fun. The seals on the sub dive up and down, up and down. You can lift baby up and down if you want. Up and down. The seals on the sub 
dive up and down all day long. What's next? The tiger in the glider does loop-de-loops, loop-de-loops, loop-de-loops. The tiger in the glider does loop-de-loops all day long. The ducks on the truck go quack, 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 quack. Well, the bird's kind of like a duck, quack, quack, quack. The ducks on the truck go quack, quack, beep all day long. It's the pig that's going beep. Ooh, the dragon in the wagon shouts, rah, 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 rah. The dragon in the wagon shouts, rah, 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 all day long. The goats on the boat sing, yo, ho, ho, yo, ho, ho, yo, ho, ho. The goats on the boat sing, yo, ho, ho, all day long. Ooh, snakes. Can you slither like a snake? The snakes on skates go slip and slide, slip and slide, slip and slide. The snakes on skates go slip and slide all day long. Okay. The baboons in balloons float home with glee, home with glee, home with glee. The baboons in balloons float home with glee. Time for bed. The llamas in pajamas, I think this one's my favorite, say nighty night, nighty night, nighty night. The llamas in pajamas say nighty night, snore, snore, snore. Yay. That's kind of my favorite right now. I like to sing that one a lot. Thank you for listening and singing with me. Okay, are you ready? Our next book has beautiful illustrations. Sometimes I like to do books kind of more geared towards the grown-ups in the room than the babies, but if you're enjoying books and story time, more likely your baby will too. Okay, this one's called I Dream of a Journey, and it's by Akiko uh, Miyakoshi, and she is from Japan, and I would highly recommend all of her books. She's a really amazing illustrator and author. This one's I Dream of a journey. This one's pretty um, philosophical. So this is like philosophy 101 for babies. This is my hotel, small but cozy. It's my pride and joy. I can't remember how long ago I welcomed my first guests. Lots of people from all over the world come to stay. They tell me stories of places I've never seen, and I tell them stories of my little town because now I know all there is to know, you see. Getting some breakfast, like it's a B&B, &B, bed and breakfast. Late at night, my work day done, I crawl into bed. As I close my eyes to sleep, I feel a great yearning to go far, far away. That might be what some of us are feeling during this pandemic, that we want to go far, far away. We want to try to travel again. We travel in our dreams. In my dreams, I set off on a journey with a big suitcase. I think our main character is a bear. That's my guess. I get on a plane and travel from new, one new place to another. You ever been on a plane before? Pretty exciting. I roam freely wherever I want. Look at that beautiful beach, the ocean. We can also travel through books like this book. That's kind of nice. On the way, I stop to visit old friends. Guests who've stayed in my hotel over the years. Maybe their friends will welcome me too. Nice lunch. When I'm 
traveling, each day brings unexpected happenings. I collect these special moments, treasuring them in my heart. I wonder, as I travel farther and farther away, will I begin to miss my own little hotel? My own little home? Morning comes and I'm still here. Time to start another day. New guests will be arriving soon. There's the new guests, new visitors, new friends. In the evening, my workday done, I sit in my worn out old chair and read over letters from my friends. Their notes are from all over the world and they make me want to travel too. Maybe one day I'll be standing in the same places shown on their postcards. I look at each one closely. There's the letter and postcard. The friend looking at the postcards. Always nice to get postcards from friends. Look at all of those cards from around the world. So cool. I've never been anywhere but this little town. And yet, one day, I just might set off on a journey. I'll take a big suitcase, leave this town, leave this country. Who's flying away? I bet everyone will be surprised. No one's looking at the tongue anymore. The end. That was a really beautiful book. And it's cool. I, I recommend checking out her books because you can really look at the details up close of all of her drawings. I hope you enjoyed that one as much as I did. That went a lot. Okay. Should we do another song? We've got a baby bounce. So if this is your first time watching Baby Storytime, we do baby bounces every week. And one of them that we always do is zooming to the moon. So let's zoom to the moon together. You can grab baby up if they feel like being on your lap and get ready to lift up and down. This one goes like this. Ready? Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll get there very soon. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Up goes baby to the moon. Let's go again. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll get there very soon. We've got to count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Should we do one more baby bounce? Let's do, we sometimes sing row, row, row your boat, rock, rock, rock your boat. Let's turn that into a baby bounce. Any song can really be a baby bounce. You just bounce baby. Okay, let's do row, row, row your boat. Let's sing at regular speed first. Then we'll sing slowly and then we'll sing super fast and then we'll rock. Okay, metaphorically and literally. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to be too funny today. All right, here we go. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream, merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay, can we sing really quickly, really fast? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream, merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay, let's sing really slowly. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream, merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay, we're going to rock. Ready? Let's rock extra hard, extra loud. Rock, rock, rock your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Let's rock one more time. Rock, rock, rock your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Good job, friends. Okay, we have one more book for this story time. And it's kind of another journey book. It's another philosophical book about our times. Um, it is called There is a Rainbow. And it's written by Teresa Trinder and pictures are by Grant Snyder. It's also a new book too. If you get new books from the library, you're probably used to seeing our new books look like 
this with this new sticker. Well, we got fancy and changed the sticker so that it doesn't cover up any of the cover, and our new stickers now are yellow. So that's how you can identify new books at the library now. We still have some of the old stickers, though. Okay, there is a rainbow. A story has a beginning and an end. There is a here and there is a there. And there is something in between. Raining. Can you make it rain with your hands? Rain drops. Drip drop, drip drop, drip drop, drip drop. On the other side of a screen, like you're looking at a screen now, that person's looking at a screen too. There is a school. They're at school. Hi, friends at school. On the other side of a window, there is a neighbor. Lots of neighbors. With encouraging sidewalk art. On the other side of the street, how many pigeons are there? There's some pigeon friends in this picture. Let's count them. One, two, three pigeons. So on the other side of the street, there is help. Oh, and look, they're sending a letter. Maybe it's to the character of the bear in our other book that was receiving all his letters and postcards. On the other side of town, there is a voice. Still the rainbow. On the other side of the a river, there is light. Sometimes a sunset if you're lucky. There we go. On the other side of a mountain, oh, like the mountains we live near, they're climbing up. There is a path going on a hike. On the other side of sadness, there are hugs. You can always give yourself a big hug too, that helps as well. Always good to hug a baby. I miss hugging babies. <laughs> on the other side of a storm, There is a rainbow. The other side of a page, sometimes it's hard to turn the new pages of the book. There we go. On the other side of today, cuddles. There is a tomorrow. Yay! The end. It says, thank you, heroes. Stay strong. Hope. We got this. Stay safe. In it together. Thought that was a nice one for our times. Can you give yourself a big, big round of applause? If Fluffy Bird had hands and arms, he would give you a big round of applause, too, for joining us at Baby Story Time today. Thank you, grown-ups, for taking the time to do this with your baby. Hope to see you soon. We've got to sing our goodbye song. Ready? Get both of our hands out. Summer reading's coming up, too. It's all live on our website, all the information, and a very cool YouTube video featuring your favorite librarians explaining summer reading. Summer reading's great for babies, and they get a free book at the end of summer, too. So starts May 27th and runs through July 31st this year. It's pretty much all online. You can print out the bingo board, go to our website for more information, or always give us a call. Okay, there's my little infomercial for summer reading for babies. Okay, let's sing our goodbye song. Ready? We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. With all our friends at story time, we wave goodbye like this. And I like to end with a full body or full baby or full bird wave. 
really stretch it out. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this with all our friends at story time. We wave goodbye like this. Yay! Bye, friends.